Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fruity Monsters channel and today let's show you how I made Beyond the Stars, my latest track I actually released which I'm very proud of. This is how it sounds. Now this track is actually a pretty personal track for me, I will not go into detail, but it didn't really start out that way. Now to be precise, somewhere about 2 billion years ago I made a sample pack, Fruity Masters Essentials. This is Fruity Masters Essentials, right here. Then around that time I also made my first official Silent One Bank. So this preset bank I'm talking about, you can buy it, hey! <laughs> I did a serum bank with Sawyer, where we made some sounds out of uh, Corona bottles. Yeah, and we simply uh, started looking for uh, stuff we made the serum and used in our tracks. And we throw it into a folder, and we also made some new stuff. So before I say anything else, let's check out what's on the screen. And eventually there was a whole bunch of stuff, and I decided it would be easier to combine it into one big bundle. The producer bundle. Now that stuff is pretty old by now, and I'm sure it's offline, I might actually turn it into a free download. Now, so recently, in the past year or so, I actually started working on the new Silent One Bank. <laughs> Always nice, those pause moments. Um, yeah, and this is the preset. That's out right now. And I also created a new sample pack called Essentials 2. And then there's all of these virus sounds I recorded from the virus TI2. <laughs> which I turned into basically contact and direct wave libraries so everyone can use virus sounds. Now, the problem is, around this time it became a little bit difficult for me to record tutorials and videos, personal matters, I will not go into detail. And then at some point I was like, all right, let's just make some kind of melody or something. Let's create something really cool as a demo song. So, instead of diving into this project file right here, let's go to the beginning. Alright, right here. And as you can see it's actually labeled Pro Bundle, Producer Bundle. So this was the first thing I made. And I was like, let's make it sound really big, some kind of epic melody, by only using the Silent One Bank and the Fire Sounds and Fruity Mars Essentials, which you can see right here. My own clap, best clap in the world. Vocal chop, we'll dive into that later. Now, so this is basically what I made, but at some point, yeah, I didn't really feel like turning it into a demo song anymore because I was getting some inspiration and I was really into the project. So I decided to finish it as a personal track. So this is how the first version sounded. This is of course that epic lead sound. It sounds way better in the final version, but right now this is, it's one of my Silent One leads, the Atmospheres type bus noise lead, then a support lead, and a bus lead, then a virus lead, I think, in direct wave. It's really noisy and that sometimes that really works with layering. And together they sound pretty epic. And what I did here actually is I made sure that all the legatos, the gliding notes, were slightly different, as you can see. And that's what, what, what makes the transitions uh, with, with the legato notes so 
interesting. Then, here's another fun thing. I decided to combine three different types of arps. So, here's the carpenter, it's one of my favorite arps. And then there's this one, Genius, also one of my favorite arps, also in the Silent Horn Bank. And as you can hear, the rhythms are quite different. And then I throw in this one. And the rhythms are really messing with each other, so this is how they sound all together. And right here we have uh, some chords. As you can see, I did some interesting things with the MIDI. Yeah, this is actually, I think this is one of my top 10 presets out of this bank, the latest one. Then I grabbed a silent, uh, a fire sound, and I gave it a bit more decay right here. And that's where the stab sounds come from. So it's starting to generate this vibe, really. Now the reason I sound a bit different right now is because I'm not no longer in the studio. Um, I'm totally changing everything there. Long story. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. And then this silent one sound. And together that sounds like this. Pretty big, right? Then there's two bases, the darkness one. There's a lot of sub in there. Then there's this luminosity one from the virus. Together they sound like this. Pretty cool. And here's something from Essentials 2. Uh, let's go to other, uh, no, vocal chops, yes. And I use this one. And I sort of reshaped it a little bit. And I created some steps out of that. Uh, some, yeah. And all of this is actually dry, There has, uh, there's no mixing or EQ or whatever yet. That's actually a really great trick to try to make your melody sound as good as possible without any processing. Yeah, because if you do the processing it can only get better if you stay focused of course. And then the best clap in the world. Yeah, and this is how the first version sounded. And that's when I kept on improving and doing and tweaking stuff. And in the final version, pretty much 99% of the whole track is everything that's in the producer bundle. Except I, uh, I wanted to include the vocal and the kick, but because it has become a personal track, um, I will not include the vocal and the kick for now. However, the kick is a different story. It's not really a sample. So here we have the full project file and it's pretty enormous. Uh, from my experience. Let's go. Let's turn off the vocals. So that's where it starts with the ARP and I believe it modulates. There the vocal chops come in. And then the steps from the virus. Right. 
So I sort of explained this part. Um, now, all of these samples are also from Essentials 2, which is also included in the producer bundle. It's really, really great stuff. I'm actually going to keep updating Essentials 2 and Silent One Bank. I told you guys I wasn't going to do that anymore, but I already got some new presets for the Silent One Bank. <laughs> some really crazy ones. Now, um, so I used my exhaust right here. Also as some kind of sweep. Yeah, it's really smooth that way. First, let's talk about this vocal. This is 11 laps. Beyond the stars. There's a whole bunch of processing on there. Let's turn them. Let's turn it off. Beyond the stars. Yeah, little alt boy is really nice uh, to change the format a little bit to give it a little bit of drive. Beyond the stars. Then I don't know what I did here. Yeah, some EQing distortion. Beyond the stars. Yeah, then sound good Iser, because why not? We're in Evil Studio anyway. Replica, Valhalla Room, Replica is Delay, Valhalla Room is Reverb, then the Compressor and a final EQ. Pretty much nothing interesting, just a whole bunch of effects. Now, the vocal. I created this one using M Voice again, but I realized I never really used, um, where is it? The, the voice of Lucy. This is pretty much what I did. This is how it sounds uh, straight from M Voice. I want only you in my arms. I will take a love beyond the stars. Now these long notes are pretty static, pretty sustaining. Um, you can of course uh, change that using M Voice with a bit of legato, no vibrato or whatever. Yeah, I wanted to go for this vibe. I like this. Then I did some processing on the vocal. Then it sounds like this. I want only in my arms. I will take the stars. A whole bunch of stuff happening there. Compression, decapitator, really nice VST. Some kind of saturation distortion thing. Then I threw the dry signal through new tone and I turned it into chords. So I didn't really use a vocoder. I manually did these notes, and that sounds like this. Yeah, so that's that part, and at the end there's actually this thing I tried with East-West Sounds, um, in solo it doesn't really sound like, uh, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. So there's this track by Daft Punk, I'm not really sure which one, I think Touch, from Random Access Memories, the album. And there's this thing where this choir comes up and it's really epic so i tried that i didn't really do my best making the words sound like actual words because um well layered together it doesn't really matter uh this is how it sounds And there it goes into a rapid build-up. The melody doesn't play by itself in, uh, anymore. So in the first build-up, there's this tension. Yeah, and in the second one, I threw in more of the actual melody because after that it goes straight to the kick. Now the kick is a really interesting story, but first let's go to the melody once again. Well, let's just play the lead on solo, because I think this lead is really, really nice. The 
see that's a really strong sound. I took a whole bunch of inspiration from other tracks, uh, really in the video clip there's these guys with helmets, it's something I really liked when I was young, from Dash Berlin with Waiting, the video clip, <laughs> but those are in white uh, suits and mine are in black suits, whatever, um, really small details. Then here this pling, a um, little bit of inspiration from AHA, Take On Me. Yeah, I think it's that one. A whole bunch of stuff. So now, not to make the video too long, let's go to the kick. So what's happening here? A whole bunch of stuff. Let's go for the first kick, because in the second part, there's a whole bunch of percussion happening. So how did I make the kick, right? Kicks are not my strongest point, um, really. I'm really more of a synth guy. That really sucks sometimes, because when you make a melody and you're like, ah, this is a really nice melody, then you only have to do the kick. And that's where you're like, ah, crap. And you grab some samples from packs and nothing works. And you're getting frustrated. And yeah, well, that's a huge part of my life, actually. <laughs> so I was like, let's just do it a different way. Why do it the same way everyone else does it? Let's first show you how it sounds. So yeah, now the punch is pretty much something from Essentials, I think. Alright, buddy, TikTok. What did I do here? Um, so this is from the Kick Builder. So drums, Kick Designer, yes, and then punches, uh, bodies, and it's called TikTok. What the hell is that? Bit confused here. Um, Oh, right, this sample might not be in the pack, but it will be, yeah. And then there's another layer, the crunch. Alright, now, here's the funny part, the tail. As you can see, it's a MIDI. Let's go there. Let's go to pattern 21. This kick is in silent one. <laughs> yeah, so I got two silent ones here, tail type sound. And another one, it's an init preset. And um, this is how the crunch sounds. Yeah, it's just some kind of sweep effect, but the most important part is the body right here. All right, so let's see the processing on that one. Yeah, pretty much a little bit of distortion, <laughs> a little bit, whole bunch of distortion and an EQ. And then finally a kick start. Yeah, it doesn't do that much. But the thing is, actually, by doing this in Silent 1, I actually had a little bit of control over the attack, the decay, the sustain, the release. It was really easy to create some kind of, well, tail. <laughs> yeah, and it really worked for this track. And I could do the legato gliding, which is also fun, something I've heard for the first time in the Ghost Stories tracks by D Block and Estefan. Now it might actually be better to do this in Serum, uh, because you have way more control over your envelopes there, um, and automation and stuff, but for this, in this case for me, Silent One was enough, and um, I think it worked out great. So that's the kick. Alright, so that's pretty much the main stuff of this track. All of these samples are in Essentials too. Crashes are also fine, FE2, that's Essentials too. Yeah, I'm really proud of this track. Uh, well, in the drop, oh, here's another cool thing. In the final drop, it really hits off. Let's show you. So that's a hi-hat there, uh, analog hi-hat, I made with the Behringer RD9, I think. And this sample really works. And I created that one with Contact, yeah, Voice of Gaia. Now, so um, that's pretty much the main stuff on how I made this track. 
the mixing with the kick part seems to be something uh, people are really interested in. So let's disable the kick. So I think all I did is throw all of the leads and stuff into a new bus. Yes, melody, SC, so that means sidechain. Yeah, and there I threw on the kickstart on 50% and the pull tech, I don't know why. Yeah, it just seemed to work. I really didn't do much. Then here we have a reverb and delay, which I also sent back to the sidechain bus. So the reverb, the sidechain reverb and the sidechain delay is also sidechained again on the kick. So yeah, it's sort of complex. I think, but yeah. Yeah, that's how I made my new track. Uh, it's on Spotify, it's everywhere. Um, I hope you guys like it. All of this, except the vocal and the main kick, is, um, well, Fruity Masters Essentials, my Silent One Bank, and my Virus Sounds. So it's not expensive, and I believe it has some great value. I'm also thinking about uh, increasing the price, so uh, you might want to be fast. Now this one right here at the end, there's a little bit of ambience where you hear some outside sounds. This is actually from Fruity Master Essentials 1. And then at the end, there's this buzzing sound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oops. So I was like, what the hell, why not? Uh, it sounds cool. Uh, it gives some kind of dramatic tape ending or whatever. I, I like it. Yeah. I'm pretty curious about my next track. I got some plans. I'm actually thinking about doing some experimental stuff with uh, 3d mixing and yeah make sure to check out the new producer bundle it's really great stuff uh, thank you all for watching i hope to continue the tutorials very soon but right now yeah i'm just changing a lot of stuff um, i have some big plans for the future with fruity masters also so don't worry i'm not going anywhere see you again next time